exploring the galaxy far, far away. We pay tribute to the luminous souls who brought the Star Wars universe to life, but have since journey beyond the stars themselves. In this retrospective, we celebrate 37 remarkable actors who grace the iconic franchise with their talent, leaving an indelible mark on generations of fans. From the stoic wisdom of Alec Guinness to the regal presence of Carrie Fisher, their contributions to the epic saga resonate eternally. Although they may have passed away, their legacies continue to inspire and illuminate the path for future generations of Jedi and Sith alike. Carrie Fisher in the series to play Princess Leia Organa In 1977, when she was in the series, she was 21, and sadly she passed away on December 27, 2016, at 60 years old. Come here! Come here, you big coward! Chewie, come here! Listen. I don't know who you are or where you came from. Alex Guinness in the series to play Ben Obi-Wan Kenobi. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 63, and sadly passed away on August 5th, 2000, at 86. A pilot in the galaxy, and a cunning warrior. I understand you've become quite a good pilot yourself. And you Ian Liston in the series to play Rebel Force Jensen. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 32, and sadly on October 1st, 2016, he passed away 68. <laughs> Jerry Hart in the series played Rebel Force Head Controller. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 49, and sadly passed away in February 2018 at 86. What was it? A droid of some kind. I didn't hit it that hard. Must have had a self-destruct. An Imperial probe droid. It's a good bet. Graham Ashley in the series to play Gold 5. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 50 years old, and sadly passed away on October 30th, 1979, at 52. The guns, they've stopped. Stabilize your rear deflectors. Watch for enemy fighters. They're coming in. Richard Le Pementier, in the series to play General Marty. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 31, and sadly passed away on April 15, 2013, at 66. ...against this station would be a useless gesture, no matter what technical data they've obtained. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. Kenny Baker, in the series to play R2-D2. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 43 and sadly passed away on August 13, 2016, at 81. Afraid? I'm not quite sure, Help sir. me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I think Where she was a help? passenger on our last voyage, a person of some importance, as I believe. Our captain was attacked Is there any to... more to this recording? Alex McQuindle, in the series to play General Dodonna. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 66, and sadly passed away on August 20th, 1990, at 78. Required to maneuver straight down this trench and skim the surface to this point. The target area is only two meters wide. It's Michael Shirt in the series to play Admiral Oso. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 42 and sadly passed away on August 31st, 2005, at 67. My lord, there are so many uncharted settlements. It could be smugglers, it could that be. That is the system. And I'm sure Skywalker is with William Hutkins in the series to play Red Six. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 29 and sadly passed away on October 23rd, 2005, at 57. Malcolm Dixon in the series to play Ewok Warrior. In 1983, when he was in the series, he was 49 and sadly passed away on April 9, 2020, at 85. <laughs> Sheila Fraser in the series she played Anne Baru. In 1977, when she was in the series, she was 57 and sadly she passed away on August 29, 2000, at 79.
You know, I think that R2 unit we bought might have been stolen. Jack Purvis in the series he played Chief Jawa. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 40 years old and sadly passed away on November 21st, 1997, at 60 years old. Yeah, no, not that one. You? I suppose you're programmed for etiquette. Lydia Queen in the series she played Ewok. In 1983, when she was in the series, she was 38, and sadly she passed away on March 23rd, 2018, at 73. David Prowse in the series played Darth Vader. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 42 and sadly passed away on November 28, 2022, at 85. Not in the main computer. Where are those transmissions you intercepted? What have you done with those plans? We intercepted no transmission. Malcolm Tierney in the series played Lieutenant Shan Chilson. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 39 and sadly passed away on February 18, 2014, at 75. Prisoner transfer from cell block 1138. I wasn't notified. I'll have to clear it. Eddie Byrne in the series to play General Willard. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 66, and sadly he passed away on August 21st, 1981, at 70 years old. You're safe. When we heard about Alderaan, we feared the worst. We have no time for Asara's commander. You must use the information in this R2 unit. Sebastian Shaw in the series play Anakin Skywalker. In 1983, when he was in the series, he was 78 and sadly passed away on December 23rd, 1994 at 89. You were right. You were right about me. Tell your sister. Francis Alfred Basil Tomlin in the series to play Bo Shack. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 39, and sadly he passed away in November 2004 at 66. <laughs> Peter Mayhew in the series to play Chewbacca. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 33 and sadly passed away on April 30th, 2019, at 74. Mark Jones in the series play Imperial Officer. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 41 and sadly passed away on January 14, 2010, at 70 years old. May come around for another pass. Captain Nita, the ship no longer appears on our scopes. Peter Cushing in the series to play Grand Moff Tarkin. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 64 and sadly passed away on August 11, 1994, at 81. Controls at the bureaucracy. The regional governors now have direct control over their territories. Fear will keep the local systems in line. Morris Bush in the series to play Dengar. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 50 years old and sadly passed away in August 1999 at 69. Bounty hunters. We don't need that scum. Yes, sir. Those rebels won't escape us. Richard Bonehill in the series to play Stormtrooper. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 32 and sadly passed away on February 4th, 2015, at 67. Watch out, squad at point 06. I'm on it, gold leader. John Hollis in the series to play Lovat, Lando's aide. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 53 and sadly passed away on October 18, 2005, at 77. <laughs> How you doing, you old pirate? So good to see you! Phil Brown in the series to play Uncle Owen. In 
In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 61 and sadly passed away on February 9, 2006 at 89. You mean the next semester before the harvest? Sure, there's more than enough droids. Harvest is when I need you the most. It's only one season more. This year we'll make a... Jeremy Bullock in the series play Boba Fett. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 35 and sadly passed away on December 17, 2020 at 75. You're being put into carbon freeze. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. The Empire will... Jeremy Sinden in the series play Gold 2. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 27 and sadly passed away on May 29, 1996 at 45. Now, front. Deflector screen. Switch all power to front. Deflector screen. <laughs> Peter Sumner in the series play Lieutenant Paul Tradem. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 37 and sadly passed away on November 23rd, 2016, at 74. TK421, wire to your post. TK421, do you copy? Felix Silla in the series play Ewok. In 1983, when he was in the series, he was 46 and sadly passed away on April 16, 2021, at 84. This game, the Charlton and Aston, mm -hmm. the very, very first. And that's how everything got started in the Adams family, and it took... Drew Henley in the series to play Red Leader. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 37, and sadly passed away on February 14, 2016, at 75. Are you sure you can handle this shit, sir? Luke is the best bush pilot in the Outer Rim Territories. You do all right. Thanks. Bruce Boa in the series to play Rebel Force, General Regan. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 50 years old and sadly passed away on April 17, 2004, at 73. Good work. I don't think we can protect two transports at a time. It's risky, but we can't hold out much longer. We have no choice. Launch patrol. Debbie Lee Carrington in the series she played Roma Ewok. In 1983, when she was in the series, she was 24, and sadly she passed away on March 23rd, 2018, at 58. <laughs> Christopher Malcolm in the series she played Rebel Force Staff. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 34 and sadly passed away on February 15, 2014, at 67. Rogue 3! Copy, Rogue Leader. Win? I've lost my gunner. You'll have to take the shot. Alfie Curtis in the series to play Dr. Everson. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 47, and sadly passed away on November 30th, 2017, at 87. He doesn't like you. I'm sorry. I don't like you either. You just watch us. Don Henderson in the series to play General Taki. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 46 and sadly passed away on June 22nd, 1997, at 65. Battle station is fully operational. We are vulnerable. The Rebel Alliance is too well equipped. They're more dangerous than you realize. Dangerous to you? John Dix in the series to play Imperial Officer. In 1980, when he was in the series, he was 33, and sadly he passed away on February 16, 2018, at 70. What do you think when 37 actors of the series Star Wars have sadly passed away, and who do you miss the most among them? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you.